Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. In this episode, let me show you how you can filter, adjust, and crop your video in iOS 13 and iPad OS. MacMost is made possible thanks to a great group of supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. So an exciting new feature of iOS 13 and iPad OS is the ability to apply the same adjustments, filters, cropping, and other things to your videos as you could do before with just photos. This has gone a little bit under the radar but I love this feature because being able to apply a filter to an entire video is a pretty big deal and it's so easy to do. So let's start off in the camera app and I'm going to take a quick video. I'm just going to scan my keyboard. So I'm going to record this video and then hit stop. Now I tap on the little preview there to see the video. This is all the same as before but I have the edit button at the top and before I could trim video and you still see the trimming controls at the bottom. But now you also see editing tools on the left. The same editing tools you see if you take a photo. Now let's exit out of here and instead go into the Photos app. So in Photos I could go and look at the video I have. So let me look at a video that I took the other day of some birds flying around in the park and you can access the same edit tools with the Edit button. So you can get to these tools through the Camera app and through the Photos app just like you can with the Photo Adjustment Tools. So you have four sets of tools here on the left. The first one is just the trimming tools that we had before. But the other three are the same as the Photo Editing Tools. So the first one here allows you to do all sorts of adjustments to light and color. And you have a full set of tools here on the right and you can see what each one is. Now this is new for Photos because we could have done this with Photos before but it's a big deal to be able to do it for an entire video. Think of it. Every frame of the video needs to be adjusted. So for instance I could just go to Exposure here and adjust the exposure of the entire video. You could use the Highlighting tool just to change the highlights or the shadows. And I love using these tools in photos because it can really make some of the things in shadows come out and you can really dim some of the, the two bright areas of the photo. But now we can do this in video. You can change the contrast, the brightness, black point, and then you can do things with the color. So I can desaturate it or heavily saturate it. Change the vibrance of the colors. Play with the warm colors there. I can tint it to one side or the other. You have other control controls like sharpness, definition, noise reduction even. And vignette here. You can see the corners there. So once you've done all this I can hit Done and it will apply the change to the video. So you see it says Saving Video. right? So it doesn't happen instantly like photos. There are a lot of frames in even a short video like this. So just the fact that it does it is incredible. And what's even more incredible is just like with photos it's non-destructive. So here you can see my bizarrely edited adjusted video. If I wanted to get back to the original I could go to Edit and you could see I've got a Revert button. So it is non-destructive. It saves the original video and it's just applying the effects on top of it just like it does with photos. Now the other editing tools you've got, you've got filters here. So this is a, a small set of filters that Apple has. It's the same set that you have with photos. So this is, could be a quick way to make a video more interesting. So now you can see with the warm filter applied here and I can edit and revert to the original. I can also just tap on it to see the original and compare it with the change. So let me go and revert here and then let's take a look at the cropping tools. So of course you can crop something and you don't even have to keep it at the same proportion. So I can make a square video here and crop it to a certain section. I can zoom in and zoom out by pinching to get a certain area of the video. So now here's my little square section of the video. Let's revert again and go into cropping. And note that I have a control there at the top where I can pick something like square, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 
or go back to original. You can also rotate or straighten video by using that meter there on the right. I can also change perspective which is really interesting. So you have horizontal perspective and vertical perspective. And you can see as I adjust the meter on the right change the perspective of this photo. This can help if you're taking a photo from a weird angle and you want to kind of correct it a little bit. Uh, you can also do some interesting effects like for instance in this video it really does make it look like I'm standing a little bit closer to where the birds are flying over than further away. So of course you could have made adjustments like this inside of video editing software before. But I think it's a big deal having this built into the Photos app. As a matter of fact you don't even have this on the Mac. In the Mac version of Photos it doesn't give you these controls yet. Hopefully we'll get those soon. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.